libs are not just implicitly embracing evil. They are now <laughs> very explicitly promoting it. There's a show that's been making the rounds on social media. It's called Has Been Hotel. It's a cartoon. It's a kid's cartoon that you can get on Amazon Prime right now. And it's a defense of the devil. Once upon a time, there was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light, angels that worshiped good and shielded all from evil. Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation, but he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven, for they felt his way of thinking was dangerous to the order of their world. So he watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth, they created Adam and Lilith, equals as the first of mankind. But despite this, Put a pause Adam dem- So a lot of people are going to wonder, what, Lilith? Who's Lilith? I know Adam and Eve. Who's Lilith? Uh, Lilith is a figure from Jewish folklore. And uh, so it, Lilith is not a figure from scripture. Lilith is not a figure, a figure from church tradition. But Lilith appears in the Babylonian Talmud and some other Jewish folklore. And uh, she's presented as the first wife of Adam who refused to submit to Adam. Um, so a- already you're seeing a fairly, I mean, you've seen it from the beginning, of a fairly novel take on uh, the uh, creation story. It goes on. But despite this, Adam demanded control, and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden. Drawn in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found her, and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. Together, they wished to share the magic of free will with humanity, offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly accepted. But this gift came with a curse, for with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of darkness and sin, and the order heaven had worked to maintain was shattered. As punishment for their reckless act, heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created, never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity. So, (laughs) notice this little word they sneak in there. They say, uh, Lucifer and his love. But of course, L- Lucifer cannot love anyone. The, the traditional understanding of this is that a love is willing the good of the other person. Uh, so uh, Fulton Sheen, or, uh, Archbishop Fulton Sheen, has a, a great distinction between love and sex, right? Love is about uh, another person and about uh, something outside, even outside of you and the other person. And it's about, in as much as it is about a person, it's about the whole person, right? Love gives. Sex, the way we talk about sex these days, you know, hookup culture say, is purely about the self. In as much as it's about another person, it's just about using that other person's body to gratify the self. It's about instrumentalizing people. Uh, C.S. Lewis talks about this in the screw tape letters. When uh, human beings talk about desire and love. It's about a, 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 a desire for another person. When the demons talk about desire and love, it's about a desire to use the other person to devour him. It's about always coming back to the self. So there's no there's no love in, in the traditional understanding of Lucifer. Uh, then you know these these poor hapless little rebels. You know they're cast and they don't get to see the good that came out of their evil. But the traditional understanding is. And the true understanding is that the Garden of Eden was perfect. It was totally perfect. And sin and death pervade the world because man is tempted by Adam and abuses his free will. This this version of Lucifer is more like a Promethean view of Lucifer. This, This view of Lucifer is that Lucifer actually helps man to achieve his true potential. And so much more good came out of it, though there was a little bit of evil too. You know, life's kind of messy, man. Uh, Keep going. Only the cruel and the wicked. Ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream. But Lilith thrived, empowering demonkind with her voice and her songs. And as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Okay, you you get it here. What's funny, from the very beginning, they say Lilith was an equal with Adam. But But Eve is presented 
in a way, as an equal with Adam, too, because Eve is taken from Adam's rib. So not from his head, she's not above Adam, not from his foot, she's not below Adam, it's from his rib, though they have different roles and they're complementary. And so she does submit to Adam. I mean, you hear this in Genesis chapter 3 when they're about to leave the Garden of Eden, and Adam is called on to love Eve. Here, though, you get a mixture of Satanism and feminism. And the, the show is listed as being for mature audiences, but do you really think kids aren't going to watch that show? I mean, I remember when I was a kid, South Park was for mature audiences. Kids loved South Park, myself included. And though there's some naughty stuff in South Park, relatively to the rest of the culture, it's not so bad because South Park has a broadly normal and conservative message. This, uh, not so much. So the, the right is up in arms and everyone's clutching their pearls and everyone's so shocked. Can you believe what the culture has come to that they would do this? I'm not shocked at all. None of this is surprising. None of this is new. None of this is original. This is the same thing you see in the first pages of Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals. Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals, the first edition, has, just after the dedication, an acknowledgement uh, to Lucifer, that first rebel who lost heaven but won himself a kingdom. Saul Alinsky is saying, I'm modeling my activism. And Saul Alinsky's left-wing activism is is the kind of community organizing that directly inspired Hillary Clinton. She wrote letters to Saul Alinsky that inspired Barack Obama, that inspired the modern Democrat Party. He, he says, my leftist activism is Satanism, <laughs> is Luciferianism. Is we, our inspiration is not God. Our ins, inspiration is not our Lord Jesus Christ. Our inspiration is the devil. And Amazon says, yeah, that, what he said. Okay, yeah, that's what we've been seeing from the beginning. Leftism from the beginning has been a rebellion against God. Leftism, the term, comes from the National Assembly during the French Revolution when the people on the right of the assembly hall supported the church and the king, and the people on the left of the assembly hall opposed the church and the legitimate authority. It's always been about that, man. It goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden when men say, ye shall be as gods. That's what, that's what it goes back to. It goes back to the Tower of Babel when men tried to become higher than God. And in their pride, they were scattered all around the world. And had they just put themselves at the foot of Calvary on their knees, they would have actually been the inheritors of a far greater uh, gift to, to become children of God. You know, uh, Satan here in this story, is just he's motivated out of charity and love for mankind. Satan is, by definition, devoid of charity. It, it, what really happened is, and in the traditional telling, Satan is envious of man. Why is he envious of man? Some say he's envious of God's power. I don't think, maybe that's some of it. But he's also envious of man because man is, is made lower than the angels. He's fleshy. The, 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 the cartoon gets it right. In the beginning, they say, angels are pure spirit. Yeah, that's true. And man is made lower than the angels. But in the incarnation, when God becomes flesh and dwells among us, that incarnation elevates man above the angels. And Satan couldn't stand that, which is why he hates man and tempts man and is constantly trying to devour our souls, including through silly little cartoons that are now appearing on Amazon. Nothing new. It's been the story for all of history. Man, what a great clip that was. Now, hold up. Ring that bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.